In the last movie, you've reigned over Narnia as kings and queens, and in the beginning of this movie, we see the four Pevensey kids in Britain, kind of bored with it. Mm -hmm. So, is that the same for you when you return home after filming, like, this big movie? No, I think that um, while we do enjoy sort of filming everything, you know, we do start missing home. And when we get back, we are able to, you know, be with friends and stuff, and, and, we, and it makes us appreciate home sometimes a little bit more. I mean, the transition isn't necessarily just like that. It's not kind of super easy, but you do you do switch across fairly quickly. Mm. Um, I mean, we're lucky because we have very supportive families and friends who just kind of welcome us back into it, and we do switch modes. Edmund seems to have matured a lot mm, to this yeah. movie, especially in comparison to Peter, so is that the same with you, or do you just pretend? Well, um, <laughs> I have, it has sort of spanned a lot of my adolescent life, so I think, you know, I, I, um, I think it's bad to say that I've matured sort of along with it, just because, you know, naturally. Um, I started when I was 12 and now I'm 16. And, um, yeah, no, I think, I think it's fair to say that Edmund has, you know, out of all of them, is probably most noticeably matured just because in the first film he was such a brat. And now he is one of the, sort of the central figures holding the family together. Anna, you have your first on-screen kiss with Ben Barnes. Yeah, I uh, is he a good kisser? He's all right. No, he's great. Um, <laughs> it was a kind of weird scene to film because we'd known each other for about five months before we did it. And it was also in front of 300 extras on a platform with mm. my surrogate brothers and sisters watching. Of course, I asked him the same, and he said, you'd blush, but you don't. Mm. So, did he say I'd blush? Yes. You could, if you talk about blushing for long enough, you'll make mm -hmm. me blush. Definitely. Hey, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan seems much softer in general. Is that more fun fact? Yeah, and it, it was kind of... I think it was easier to empathise with her this time, actually, because it's not so much about always being... You know, she's still responsible and practical, but she's not quite so stroppy this time. Um, and I think that kind of the element of the romance and also being involved in some of the action is almost kind of makes it a bit more likeable. And she's learned from Lucy, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think that in, there's a one particular scene in this film where she has to kind of ask Lucy for advice. And I heard you were chosen from like a thousand people and you're actually neighbours. Wasn't that weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so weird. weird. And we didn't know each other beforehand either. Mm. And uh, you're not going to return uh, to Narnia, so uh, mm. you're going to miss each other then? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to be next door, so... We'll I think we'll probably still see each other, yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard this weird story about your trip to your prom night home during filming. Oh, yeah, I think it's been slightly exaggerated, but um, oh, yeah. there was a... There I saw was one a, of those as well, <laughs> yeah. there, was, um, there was one afternoon where we were filming and I looked a little bit down and Andrew asked me what was wrong and I was head girl at my school, so I was supposed to be organising it or, or going to at least our leavers ball. Um, and Andrew kind of switched the shots around and put me on a plane home and I went straight from the airport to the party so that I could get there, which is very nice. Okay, and um, you're actually studying on the same college as uh, C.S. Lewis did, uh, is that, was yeah. that deliberate? Yeah, he didn't study there, he actually taught there for um, over 20 years, but I didn't know that when I applied, so no, it was completely accidental. Okay. So uh, did you keep a journal this time as well? Or? No, I didn't have time, I was working adult hours on this movie because mm -hmm. I turned 18, so I didn't have so much time to keep journals and things. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, thanks. Great.